Hello, my name is Ben Merkley, and I'm a Solutions Architect here at Open. I'm going to walk you through some of the great things we've been working on here at Open. After a decade of building with Drupal and multiple decades of developing websites, our team innovated the best out-of-the-box Drupal profile for an enterprise CMS. Now, the reason we developed this tool is we noticed how many times we repeated installing the same modules, enabling the same features, and solving the same problems. So, we chose to innovate. Activate delivers you our experience in a profile. This saves our developers time, in part saving you money, and allowing us to actually start customizing your website to align to your goals faster. Next, we have FreeFlow. FreeFlow is our low-code web building experience. FreeFlow provides you with a library of up to 50 different components and growing. This covers social media embeds, call to actions, carousels, sliders, and more. We work to empower you, the user, by letting you configure them in an easy drag and drop page builder, allowing everyone to easily create stunning web pages. Now, this can be used uh, to create marketing pages, landing pages, microsites, and more. We leverage front end technologies like Storybook and Tailwind CSS that allow our developers to brand components to your look and feel. And if you feel like you're missing a component, we can easily create one efficiently and consistently. Next, we have Pippi. Now, we use a continuous integration and continuous deployment process that uses GitLab as our source control repository. A developer will develop locally and push code to GitLab. It then undergoes a series of 20,000 automated tests, including things like Drupal best practices, PHP static code analysis, dynamic application security checks, and OWASP top common vulnerabilities, just to name a few. If anything should fail in that process, it then goes back to the dev to fix. But only once it passes these tests, it then gets pushed to our hosting environment where manual testing takes place. Everything is then run through our QA team and then finally presented to the user for user acceptance. Now, it's a mature process that very few agencies fully adopt today, and we feel it provides the best security and quality assurance during the technical build phase. Next, we have Groundswell. Now, during the development phase, we leverage automated testing to ensure high quality delivery. We monitor for content, accessibility, and SEO opportunities, while also identifying broken links, misspellings, and other content quality issues. Now, after launch, we continue to monitor with our support and provide monthly insight reports, including advice and guidance for content publishers. Now, migrating content from a legacy CMS can be a slow and difficult process, but with the right tools, you can move from a legacy CMS to Drupal in days instead of months, saving you both time and money. Now, Uplift helps you move to Drupal with minimal downtime and seamless transitions. It's our automated migration tool for faster delivery. Now, to jump into the demo, we're gonna talk about content creation. To be clear, I am no designer, but this is what I'm able to whip up thanks to Activate and FreeFlow. As you can see, I'm logged in since I have the ability to see the Drupal admin bar. This is how I navigate the back end of the CMS. Now, depending on your user role, you might see uh, less items because chances are you will not need all of these features. If we navigate to the content section, this is where the majority of content editors will spend their time. As you can see here, we have a list of all the content across the site, some published, some in draft, and others scheduled to be released. Now, if we wanted to create a piece of structured content, we would just qu quickly click Add Content. And as you can see here, we have a predefined list of 17 or so uh, standardized content types. This allows us to quickly configure the site to align with our client's goals and needs. You can kind of think of this as scaffolding. But first, if we click article, you'll see all of the fields that I need to fill out to create a piece of article. I obviously need a title. I need an image. Here's our default image. But if I wanted to add one, I have a media library available to me of predefined images. I can also choose a file and upload it from my desktop computer. But for now, if I just wanted to select any image, I would select this one. Moving forward, I can uh, click the type of uh, article it is, whether it's a news article or a press release. 
I could summarize the content. So if it shows up anywhere else, it'll uh, display with this summarization. And then I can add the content as well. So for example, if I wanted to pull some content, I could do so as such. Now you'll notice all of your standard uh, WYSIWYG type items in front of you. Um, it's basically just Microsoft Word in a box, if you will. If we wanted to further add any tags, we could do so here. And then you'll notice I have this content is currently set to draft. This is the approval and publishing process. Now, since I'm an administrator, I have the option to bypass this and give us an overall look at the approval process. Depending on my role, I might have the ability to publish pieces of content to draft, and then my manager or an editor can approve my content to be published. Now, Drupal workflows is highly configurable, and our team will work closely with the client um, to align the workflow to help represent your team's content governance. Now, workflow and content governance can also be uh, configured differently depending on the type of content. For example, if articles needed a different approval standard than landing pages, this could easily be configured. Moving on to the right-hand sidebar, you'll also see menu settings, scheduling options, meta tag URL aliases, and promotion options. Um, if I wanted to create provide a menu link, it'd be, it's as simple as just clicking provide a menu link and then selecting where it falls within that menu. If I wanted to enable comments, it's as simply as open or closed. If I wanted to further configure any SEO uh, meta tags, this is where I do it. And then of course the URL alias, if I wanted to add a vanity URL, normally it's just automatically configured based on the title. And then obviously author information and then promotion options. So if I wanted to promote it to the front page. But for now, let's just click save. And then we can see a preview of our draft article in draft. As you can see here, we have our content available to us. And once I feel like it is ready to be uh, published, I can just quickly click published. And just like that, it is that simple to create content in Activate.